Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wooler. If you don't know about the new organic acid test from Great Plains Laboratory, I would highly recommend checking it out. Um, I've been using the Great Plains organic acid test now in my practice for many, many years. Found it in incredible as far as its information with respect to yeast, bacteria, and other metabolic disorders. It really is a mainstay type of test for my practice. And the new markers that they've recently added um, have added a whole other level of clinical insight. A couple examples are, is there's some indicators now of mitochondrial dysfunction. And we know that mitochondrial problems can be a big issue for individuals on the autism spectrum. There's also some other things such as quinolinic acid, kynorenic acid, and the ratios between these different biomarkers that are important, particularly with respects to neurological inflammation, things that activate excitotoxicity in the brain, um, and ways to remedy that. So some new information there that's, that's very, very important. Um, they've also included some other indicators with respect to potential chemical toxicity. And then of course, the rest of the test, which is very comprehensive, as I mentioned before, for yeast, bacteria, and other types of metabolic imbalances. So again, the, great, the new Great Plains Laboratory test with the new biomarkers is very important. Um, if you don't have access to it, um, it is something that I provide through the autismactionplan.com website. This is where you can actually become a member uh, on a monthly basis, and you can actually order that test on your own, and, and there's an interpretive center in that website as well that helps you to interpret many of these different types of biomarkers. And of course, I'm available all the time for questions and answers through the, through the parent forum. So again, check that test out. I think you'll find it very, very helpful when you're looking to assess your child with respects to metabolic imbalances, yeast, bacteria, and other toxins, which we know affect many, many children greatly. Thanks.